Good evening. First off, Mom, Chris, Jen, and I would like to thank you all. I know my dad would be very honored to see you all here. My mother and father met in 1960 when dad was an instructor at MIT and mom a student in Boston. After they got married in 1961 at the church at Harvard, they spent a year living in an apartment in the Latin Quarter in Paris before returning to the US. My father dearly loved my mother. Despite being a forgetful professor, he never forgot to take care of his wife and his family and always remembered to make sure mom took her medicine regularly. Dad was a very kind and caring person. Sometime in the early 80s, when my parents were coming home from my grandparents' house, Dad saw a nun struggling with a suitcase. According to Mom, he went right over and helped her carry her suitcase and carry it to her destination. A week later, he received a letter from the church in which they expressed great appreciation for his help. Dad always thought of others first and didn't hesitate to take care of other people. I remember when I was a young boy, Dad would pick me up and take me on a tour of our large apartment. He would also take me out to the Columbia campus to ride on my tricycle. I used to treat the Columbia campus as my playground. We also went on many day trips where we visited his childhood birthplace in Elizabeth, New Jersey. My brother Chris remembers the great fun he had with Dad in the summers, riding their bikes together in Riverside Park, where they would go all the way to Central Park, stopping to have lunch at McDonald's on 72nd Street, and visit the Museum of Natural History. It was during this time that Dad began to teach Chris about math and science, and one of Chris's favorite memories is learning math from Dad. Dad loved math and was an incredible teacher. Chris misses being able to talk about his dad, about math, and about anything about science. Around this, they really bonded. One of Dad's favorite cities was Paris. It was my mother who introduced him to that city. I can't count how many times he visited there. When I took walks with him as a kid, he would point out to me the landmarks and the city's history, especially the French Revolution. He would always colorfully discuss French history with me. Perhaps the moment when Dad had an impact on me was about the time I changed schools when I entered high school. Before high school, I used to watch too much TV and spend less time doing homework. When I entered high school, my studying time increased and that there would be less time for me to watch TV. Dad would always help me my math, science, and history homework, as well as learning French. It was there that Dad opened my eyes to a world that until then was unfamiliar to me. He also introduced me to politics and world affairs. All these were things I had no knowledge or interest in until my high school freshman year. Dad was an incredible teacher, and this we all miss. Again, we want to thank all of you for coming tonight. Me and my family miss Dad every day, and we love him dearly. And I know Dad would be very happy to see all of you here. I know Dad felt honored and very lucky to have been able to teach here, and of everyone at the math department. Thank you. This is uh, Dad when he graduated from Harvard in 1956. Dad told me to take this picture. He's uh, pretending to uh, teach math at uh, Columbia with uh, my little brother Chris as his student. He was uh, 11 months old, so I don't think he learned very much then. <laughs> uh, this was uh, taken in November of 1972. And he 
These are a couple of pictures of Dad at work. Another picture of Dad. Picture of Dad with, with, with I guess, uh, someone who just uh, graduated. I guess it's one of the students. More pictures of Dad at work. And this picture was taken in 1989. That's uh, Dad and with friends, including uh, Julia and uh, Professor Goldfeld. And that's Dad with uh, Andy Tran, son of Hong Tran, who just spoke here. More pictures of Dad. I took this picture. This was taken in the summer of 2004. He's at uh, New York's Chinatown. Hmm. This is uh, mom and mom and dad in Hawaii in the summer of 2013. And and this is dad taken at his last uh, Thanksgiving in New York in November of 2017. That's uh, pretty much it.